working on a HP Pavilion 14 comes up with an error boot device not found uh, please install an operating system on your hard disk the hard disk 3FO error comes on so what we have to do is press the F2 and then we will go to hard disk check uh, we can do a quick check or extensive check but we'll do a quick check so it comes up um, testing drive one um, smart check passed short DST not DST available DST stands for disk self test um, but with this machine we do not have a hard drive uh, physical hard drive in here it's an SSD so the error is with an S the SSD so what we're going to do next is we are going to take the machine apart take the SSD out we have another SSD what we're going to put in what's right here right there we're going to put this in and see if it works so we start turning escape escape and yes we're going to shut everything down just power it off that's the power button if I can turn it off so the fan's quite noisy but if we turn it around we have a total of five screws to remove three at the bottom and two at the top we will be putting the screws into the plastic box so we don't lose them I'm just going to use this plastic Thick um, prize tool. So I'm going to lift it slightly to get it in. If you can see right there, I'm going to get it in from this corner. Because it's all clipped in, you have to be dead careful. So it should be. It's hard. And now, because it's clipped in, you have to be dead careful. And there it comes apart. So the next bit we're going to do is show you there. We are going to be removing the screws from the battery. Uh, there's one, two at the bottom and three at the top. So a total of five screws to be removed. We are going to fast forward this part of us removing the screws. I'm going to lift this so it just lifts off there. Put that to a side, and now the same thing for the SSD. It's got one screw right there. Put the screw to a side and take the SSD out. That's the SSD. That's been removed. Um, now, this SSD's got Windows 11 on it. It's one of our test ones, so we just put that in. If we can get it in right there. And put the screw back in. That's there. And now put the battery back in. We are going to put the screws back in, but we're going to fast forward this part as well. That's there. Now we just need to put the cover back on. You slot it in from here. And then you press it all back in. And it's properly clipped on. I'll put the screws in this afterwards. The main thing for me is, does the machine work? So, connect it on there. And here we go, let's see what it does. It comes on with a COMS 502 error, what's not a problem, you just need to press enter. Let's see what it does next. Sometimes with the comms, 
502 error, uh, it means you need to update the BIOS. But I don't think I should have this issue with this machine because I have put a uh, Windows 11 M2 card in uh, and it does boot up. So yeah, it's fixed the issue.